guys welcome back or welcome to my channel um today we're gonna we will be having a short dollar tree haul we don't have very many items so here we go and my son has already gotten to these and these are dippin dots the vitamin c um immune support i'm gonna try these are they any good they're orange and the expiration is a 9 of 2023 and we're going to try these. Don't mind my appearance. I look like crap, but it is what it is. Um, and also, um, I got some candy for work. To take to work, put it in my pocket. Um, so, I got some reasons. Love these. These are really good. And... See what else we got. Uh, these are just gonna be in random order. I don't have in, no rhyme or reason. I'm just gonna be random. So he got himself some Queen Anne um, cordial cherries, five piece, and it is good until what? When is it? The expiration date on right these? There. Right Where? there, on the side. On the side. Where you're holding it. Other side. <laughs> right there. Here we go. <laughs> So, the expiration on these are um, January 9th of 2024. I think everything's backwards. I'm not really sure. It's backwards in my, you know, where I'm seeing it. Anyways. So, he got him some Queen Anne's. And then I got some bubble gum. It's the double bubble gumballs. And they're individually wrapped. And these are good until 9 of 2024 as well. I like these because... I got these because they're individually wrapped and I can put these in my pocket and um, for they're all getting all nasty and uh, itchy in your pocket if they're not, you know, wrapped. Okay. So, moving on. Then I got these chocolates. These are good chocolates right here. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Five different kinds of chocolates and um, 11 pieces and you get, let's see, you get caramel, strawberry cream, orange cream, cocoa, truffle and chocolate caramel and they are good until may 5th of 2023 okay he's handing me the stuff that way. um then we also got some elderberry immune defense with zinc and vitamin c 10 gummies and these are really good and uh what are these i don't do these expire I don't even they, they may. I don't know. Don't know if they expire or not. They don't even have an ex. Yeah, they do. They do. My bad. Um, I can't really see it though. Let me see. It's down there where <clears> they <throat> are. Um, that is definitely hard to read. It's cold it? here, by the way. It's really cold. Expiration looks and like rainy. it says seven. And I look all washed out. I don't know. Why. Seven of 2023. Seven of 2023. Mm -hmm. That's for the elderberry. And then, this is just junk food, like, that's all for work. But I'll be stopping getting a hamburger. Anyways, um, these are called Flips Stuffed Milk Chocolate Peanut Butter Filled Pretzels. And these are really good, I think. <laughs> Hopefully they will be. I haven't tried them yet. They look good anyway. So, uh, the best buy date is 12-26 of 2022. And you get a three and a half ounce bag. My okay. little dog right there hanging out the window. Okay. <laughs> and then I got some Brim's um, French Cheese Curls. Seven ounce bag. And they are good until January 20th of 2023. These are good too. Well, they kind of like the... Um, Cheetos. Cheetos. Yeah, the Cheetos. So. Off, it's an off-brand of Cheetos. It's an off-brand, yeah. But this is good. Cheap Cheetos. Okay, and then he got himself, well, we both did, really, Brim's um, pork rinds, and they're the barbecue flavor, and let's see, they have an expiration date on these, have no clue. Should be on the front. Okay. Right there, it's on, the front. it's on the front, it's on the front. I'm blind. <laughs> right there. Okay, here we go. November 20th of 2022 is when these expire, and these are really good, too. Okay. And they just fell. <laughs> and then I also got me some protein blend imperial nuts with peanuts, black raisins, almonds, pepitas, cashews, dried sweetened cherries. 
and it is a 2.25 ounce bag, which is really good. I love these. Um, and the Best Buy is 712 of 2024. So that's them. And then we just got a Hershey bar because we're going to split that. Just a bunch of junk food. Mm -hmm. But hey, love junk, junk food. I'm a junk food junkie. <laughs> one more bag and that's it well we only had two to begin with okay. so we have two bags two bags starting with uh, i guess the big ticket item here so i got myself <clears throat> a looney tunes bag to put my stuff in it because honestly their little backpacks for a dollar 25 i got the pink and the black rips that it just ripped well it doesn't last they're forever. cheap they're cheaply made so I got the little Looney Tunes to put my goodies in. And they're only for... Carry them around. They're, they're, uh, the, the cheap ones are only good for, you know, a, a certain amount of time before they just, you know, ex expire like everything else. You're yeah. going to show yours. I'll show mine when I got. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, um, yeah, I got some more earbuds because mine uh, broke. And um, I had to get some more because I, I like these cheap ones. Even though they're cheap, they're okay. They're not too bad, but I got the pink ones, and yeah. And then I got some Aleve for my, for my old broke down knees. Um, I have osteoarthritis in both my knees, and um, this kind of helps. I'm supposed to be getting um, shots at some point. I don't know. I got to get my sugars down, though. <laughs> No, <laughs> I know I, I've got a lot of junk food, but, uh, yeah, eventually, but yeah, I've got osteoarthritis money. So I'm going to take this and see if that helps. It does kind of help a little bit. And then I got some wipes. These are the 64 count, um, 99% water wipes. That's what these are. And I like these because they don't have all the the um, chemicals chemicals in them. Yeah, they're uh, soft, sensitive, and fragrance-free for anybody, really. Not and just for yeah. yeah. And then yes. I had to get this because I'm going to try to um, get the moisture out of my car. I'm going to see if this works. It's the moisture eliminator. And it traps excess moisture, eliminates tough odor, prevents water damage. So I got this. And I'm going to put it in my car and see if it works. Because it gets foggy in here and everything. And I don't like that. We'll see. And then, is this the last one of mine? No. Okay, and then I got some antibacterial wipes. The 40 counts. Because... I like to wipe my hands, you know. I like to wipe my hands, get the germs off. And then, and then I found these little spatulas. I think I've got these already. I'm not really sure, but these are cute. I saw them. They're tiny, and it says "Have a cozy, comfy Christmas." And then it's got the little um, gingerbread on the other one. They're tiny, but those are cute. I like those. Moving on. And it's, is it your turn now? So, okay, now I'm going to give it, hand you over to him because he's got some stuff he wants to show. Uh, since I'm an avid die cast and car collector, um, and uh, I have over, probably over just 200 or 400 in my collection, um, I collect these when I see them. And I believe that if you don't see it, I mean, if you see it, it's there, but if you don't get it right then and there, it's it's going to be gone. Since, it's not so. going to be there when you get back, that's exactly. for sure. So, starting with the, the A-list car, it's uh, an Alfa Romeo Giulia, and it's this one right here. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but it's, um, it's a four-door sedan, Alfa Romeo, just your typical Alfa. So, I got that one, and then um, this next one... Is, where is it? It's 
a really beautiful green car. It's a Porsche 911 Career Cabriolet, and that's what it, this is what it looks like. Yeah. So that's uh, green with the gold metallic flake wheels or something. I don't really know. I'm not really much into paint aspects or anything like that. Um, don't know much about paint, so there you go. <laughs> And then, um, so the next one I got here is a 1994 Lexus LS400, and it's a four-door, big four-door sedan, and this is what it looks like. Right there. And then, uh, the next one is basically a truck category, so this one's really not a truck. It's more of, it's based on a Honda Odyssey, um, frame. And it's a Honda, 2007 Honda Ridgeline. This is one of the first generation um, Honda Ridgelines. And this is what it looks like. So like that. And they're pretty much, everything I have is all, either Matchbox, um, Maisto, or Hot Wheels. Basically. And then the next one I have here is a 2016 Toyota Tacoma with a camper on top, white with the TRD... Uh, logo with uh, yellow, orange, and red at the very rear, and it's got the BFG or BF Goodrich uh, logo at the very front on the fender, and it's got to come on a door. That's, that's, what cool. that, that's what that looks like. It's pretty. It's it's unique. It's very. It's something very different than what I've ever what is seen. This? What's that on the top? That's the uh, that's the camper that goes on the top. Mm. So basically, it's like off gridding. So if you're like if you're an avid off gridder or you like going on trails or to the back country or something like that. Um, that's basically it just it's a camper. It's a in bed camper. So it's basically like a truck topper anyway. So does it come off or no? I'm not really sure. I haven't opened it or anything. So that's pretty cool. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's just a Tacoma TRD. Yeah. Well, here comes the rain. <laughs> but that's pretty much all of what I have. So it just goes in my collection. I'm sure I have like, like I said, oh, two, three hundred, four hundred cars. So anyways, guys, that's our haul and um, it's starting to rain. I'm going to get going and um, put this stuff back in the bags. But um, yeah, uh, till next time. See ya. Bye bye.